got to turn on the highlights on this one. Mm-hmm. Because it's bright out. We're getting blown out the backside. Oh. What? That was weird. What? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Air Podcast. This is episode 130. Dude, last episode was 130. I messed it up. So now it's 131. This is 131. Episode 131 of the Air Podcast. Welcome to another day. Welcome home. Welcome back. Find the podcast everywhere. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Video, Anchor.fm, www.europodcast.co. We cannot afford the M. Yeah. Oh, man. I got to breathe. You did it. <sighs> this show is brought to you by Formosa Hot Sauce, man. If you're looking for a legit, tasty, amazing hot sauce, this is a family recipe mm-hmm. um, passed down through generations, uh, gluten-free, vegan, all of that. It's actually healthy for you. Oh, Pretty yeah. good. And the taste, honestly, is my favorite hot sauce I've ever had. Yeah. Same. Promosasauce.com. Go get yourself some. Mm. Official sponsor of the Air Podcast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Hey, hey. How we doing? Dude, we're, we're good. How we doing? We got, we got Chicago behind this us right sh- now. You can't see it. We're in Chi-Town. We're in Chi-Town. This is Air Podcast on the go. Dude, it's our first, our first mobile one. I think this room sounds better than the, than the studio. I'm, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's quiet. Yeah, it's like soundproof. Yeah. And our, I, feel, I feel like our mics I are mean, better. I mean, you know what? It's soundproof. Oh, yuck, dude! <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, uh, Dave. Let's let's go through how how long did it take to get here? Uh, let's talk about the trip. Okay, it was our first road trip, man. So here's where I made my first mistake. Uh-oh. This is so this bring, our first road trip to bring me. No, oh. I'm glad we did this together. But the the first the first mistake I made was I punched in like two nights before because I didn't have my Easy Pass and I was using my GPS. You know how you could do the avoid tolls deal? Yes. So I did that, and I didn't change it. So the first hour we were driving. Oh, it was going all back roads? All avoid tolls. (laughs) So instead of like a 12-hour deal, we did about a 13-hour deal. Uh, That's why we were on that weird-ass back Pennsylvania road before we got into- Dude, uh, there was this one moment where (laughs) we were driving, (laughs) and Dave doesn't make a turn down this sketchy like dirt road. Hey, bro. No, but I, I, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying whatever. Oh, okay. you, you like didn't turn because you didn't see it. It was a weird road. You know, it didn't yeah, even yeah, look yeah. like it. Sketchy. And um, <laughs> we, we kept going and then the time changes to two hours later, <laughs> two hours more. It's like, you hey, dude. One turn? We got to figure that out. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I think because like the, the roads here, Ohio was like that. Yeah. Uh, Indiana. Indiana. It's like gridded, but it's huge grids. Like it's huge square miles that yeah. are just it's either straight yep. or right and left. And there's I mean, farm in between. If you got to describe each state, we went through five states. <laughs> okay, okay. Five states. This is good. We went through NJ, Pennsylvania, yep, yep. Ohio, mm-hmm. Indiana, and now Illinois. Yeah. It's the most thing I've ever traveled. Me too. Like in one go, I think. No, it's not, it's not for me. Really? What's the I think Mississippi was farther. Oh, yeah. Mississippi's really far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was about 15. <sighs> 15 hours. You drove the whole thing too? Yeah. Oof. Me and Carl. Man. Yeah, dude. That was a Shout out Carl. Fun. Dude, my eyes were like burning out of yeah. my fucking head yesterday. <laughs> really? When we got here, yeah. I was like... Because we kept the windows down. And we're just like... Yeah. <laughs> it's like smacking us At some us point, it was like, dude, I want to wake up. I want to like... <laughs> I'm like fucking... You, you see the same thing on the road. Like, it's just land. Yeah. Jordan said that. He's like, oh, bro, fly for sure. Yeah. I'm like, no, nah, dude, we're going to drive. You know, like we want to do like a little road trip. It'd be fun. And he's like, dude, this it's just land, bro. You're going to see the same thing over I and over. I did think it was going to be a lot more like interesting. <laughs> yeah, but really, like little pit stops. But like, really, there's not much. Like what do we see? The RV museum. What were the stops we made? The Museum of the RVs. The, the Hall Muse- of Fame. Hall of Fame of RVs. <laughs> of RVs. But we stopped it. We so, so where where was the first place we stopped? It was like a- Let's uh, go through the trip. So New Jersey was fine. Yeah, we're what, going what through do you Pens- think? We're going through Pennsylvania. It's It's chill. A little but bit we've been weird to before, yeah. It's yeah, like P- farm. Pennsylvania is close, but dude, yeah. Pennsylvania is long and Whoa. big. <laughs> yeah, I think dude. that was the longest drive we had. Yeah, yeah, through, yeah. Just through Pennsylvania. Yeah. Um, a lot of weird characters. Super shady. We didn't really stop much there. I don't think. Yeah. Um, pit stops, nothing, nothing mm-hmm. really. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't. I guess we we stopped in Cleveland, Ohio. We stopped. In we made a decision. Outside, right outside. Get out there. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. Right Salt up, right Lake by the water. Here. I wanted Come to on. see the water, man. Yeah, yeah. And it smelled, you know, like. Water. Fish. Fish. And it was yachts. cool. Yachts. There were yachts. Cleveland, very clean. We saw where the Brown Stadium was. Browns. Cleveland's super clean. Super clean. Little city. I saw a homeless man, just one guy, just having a good day. Yeah. Honestly. Chilling. That's what it looked like. Yeah. No Pleasant. trash around him. No, just, no. Just clean. The good. streets were clean, dude. Yeah. That freaked me out, actually. I yeah, was like, it was weird. people live here? It was like touristy, right? Yeah, there was no one there. Yeah. 
I don't Very know. Weird. It was a Monday, but I, yeah. I assume people go to lunch or, or get out of their fucking workplace and walk around. Nobody was there. I love seeing the different like architecture between cities. Oh yeah, you man. know what I mean. Yes. Like, Cleveland was very city, but, like, I think the thing that stuck out was, like, those stadiums, man. Mm-hmm. It's just, like, you could see the, the open. great. It looks so cool. In the Indians uh, stadium. Yes. Cleveland Indians? Yes. You see in the whole thing, out of the corner we drove right past, you yep. see, it's like you're on the field. It's crazy. That was bananas, dude. Yeah, so we went through Cleveland. We stopped for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, kept going. Indiana. Hey, all I can say about Indiana is it smells like death. Mm-hmm. Shit. <laughs> and what was it candles <laughs> yeah death, death shit and candles that's all you got about uh, no shade at indiana no 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 shade <laughs> but visit. we just we just rolled through it was like a ton of farmland and yeah. just the smells were it was it had to be a slaughterhouse too because it, yeah. it was like death just punched us in the some face. of those factories were like miles long <sighs> like crazy and then the, just shit from animals oh yeah and then there was like a lab we passed for sure. That yes. was a Yankee Candle lab or something. And that was the only good smell. Wasn't that weird? <laughs> that was that was that the only weird? Smell. Wasn't that weird? It was weird. It was like the most, the, the thing I would <clears throat> I would expect the least would be a candle smell. It's weird because I bet like, it's like this is the world a lot of us, I think Jersey's like such a, I think we're kind of like blessed to be able to like oh, live man. around there. Definitely. You know what I mean? Definitely. To be born around there. Yeah. Because I think out, like all that open area is like that's where everything's made yeah. so that we can live yeah you know what i mean yeah yeah and like all those people like we were i was i mentioned like everyone has their own like propane gas tanks mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. they're out there to like do the work and like send it to us that's how yeah. they make the living the, well the conversations we were having were cool that were coming up yeah. you're, you're seeing them wa- working on their land kind yeah, of you're yeah. seeing people like with those giant sprinklers like f- figuring out where they're yeah. gonna shoot the water and you know, people just working on their tractors and shit and, and in their garages. And I don't know, man. Like, I, we were talking about, like, mm. exactly what you're saying. Like, there's a whole community of people that are providing for the coasts. Yeah. Like, all of our food in our supermarkets doesn't go there unless there's, like, these people <clears throat> yeah. doing their jobs, you know? Yep. So, it was cool to, like, drive through and just, like, see what their everyday is kind of like. Yeah. Even though we're not going in their house and, like, watching what they do nine mm-hmm. to five, like, your imagination starts to run, you know? Yeah, you see him cooking like barbecue. Yeah, outside, yeah, yeah. And you start thinking, around. What, what, what's, what's your day like, man? What are, you, what are you doing? Who's your family like? Yeah. Another interesting thing you were talking about was the, um, I don't know if you want to get into it, but like about aiming like the film towards like. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. towards a specific, you know, group of people. Yeah, dog. I stuff mean, like that. Don't take our idea or nothing. But <laughs> we, uh, if you don't want to talk, I get it. No, no, no. It's all right. I, th- I think it's 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 good to talk about. Um. Sorry, Adam, if I'm giving it away. I don't think I am. I think it's no surprise. There's, I think it's just something nobody's really doing is telling uh, honest stories about these kind of people. Mm-hmm. It's very rare that you, like, yeah. you see a good movie come out and yeah, a good yeah, story yeah. be told about like, they call them like, quote unquote, the flyover states. Mm-hmm. And that's like kind of fucked up. It is, it's like, yeah. you're going to California, you're going to New York, like where are you going? Yep. In the, you know, which city are you going, you're flying to? Um. But dude, there's so many stories within these communities yeah. that don't get told or they don't see a reflection of who they really are in like network TV or film. Like what do they watch? You know? They watch Netflix? I don't think so. Like do they watch probably network TV if they have it and you know, or they watch film, they go to the movie theater and they watch Fast and Furious because it's like it's an entertaining movie. Yeah. You know? But like I just think uh, there's a big gap in like honest stories being told. There's so many stories about people from cities and people from, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? It's just inundated with it. But uh, I just think, yeah, we're, 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 our film is centered around a small community in Texas. Mm-hmm. Small, small community. So um, you like, you put them on a billboard basically, you know what I mean? You like lift them up, you show them like, you show the world who they are and they yeah. see themselves and it's, I think it's just uh, it's an act of service I think it's it just it's something I want to do man it's something something we're excited to do that's what any town is really about yeah I think I don't know that really like stuck with me I think that's a great like way to look at things yeah you know what I mean yeah oh yeah I think like especially because like it's more about like telling the story you know what I mean right like I feel like in like Hollywood and shit it's like they're like, oh, we're doing that, but like that, we're just like throwing like an Asian dude in there. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Like, yeah that's yeah. the story, yeah. right? We got our quota. But, like, it's not about 
that. No. They think that's the you know way to reach out to them. Yeah. Yeah. We were saying Minari is like the closest thing, I think, yeah. to a film yeah, like, yeah. representing people kind of from or like Take <clears throat> Shelter, like yep. back in the day, like not back in the day, but a few years ago. But uh, yeah, man, I don't know. There used to be movies all the time about people from these areas, man. And they just stopped. Mm. And I, I was like, I mean, I'm talking about a lot. Like, why? Yeah. Why is that? The people from the cities don't go watch? Like, is it... Because there's got to be a business reason. You know what I mean? There's got to be a reason they, that that most of these stories aren't being told. Uh, you have Hillbilly Elegy. It's I like think a lot of it is... Netflix. A lot of it is like, just I think population. You know, like... Popu- yeah, like... Spa- the Yeah, like... Every- I bet, like you know, if people think surface level, they're like, "Oh, like let's it's not talk about popular. Indiana." It's yeah, like, yeah, you're it's a bunch of farmers. The people say. spaced out. Yeah, yeah, and like barely people. Yeah, people yeah, 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 yeah. But like combine all those together because they're all in the same like you know they all probably have a similar like lifestyle. Mm-hmm. If you group all those mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. states together, mm-hmm. and like that would probably equal you know something like New York or something. Yeah, man. Yeah, so interesting. It's it gets interesting. me excited, bro. That's why we want to do it. It's it, it's a it's an exciting way to be of service. Yeah, you know, commercials aren't going to give me that. Oh no, you like, sure, dude. I mean, I don't think, so. dude. I mean, how many stories have you heard? <laughs> you know, I was so moved by your I booked performance. my Colgate commercial, and I dude. Just... I was so moved. It changed it changed the way I felt about my life. <laughs> I saw myself in that performance. You know what I mean? <laughs> All the cops are out today, dude. Dude, we saw dude. a staggering statistic. Yeah, hey, we got here. Dude. Right? First of all, we're here for um, Blue Whiskey oh, yeah. Film Festival, independent film. Shout out, shout out. Um, we're about a... How do you feel about that? Sweep. No, don't no. say that. <laughs> don't say okay. that. We're going to have a good time. Um, I can't wait to watch some films. Dude. dude, how do you feel about that? Like, like you've been in a film festival before. Yeah. But how do you feel about coming to this <clears> one? It feels wild. Yeah. It's like I almost forgot. Like... We're going here for this. Like you went to a totally different community yeah. of people that would never yep. have seen something you and made. And it's being shown to a bunch of people that are... First time, too. Yeah. First time anyone's yeah, ever seen it. Yeah, it's the first premiere, right? Yeah. This is wow. it. Wow. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's fucking cool, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. Yeah. You know? It's crazy. Isn't it weird? It is weird. In Chicago. It's weird that it, like it happened. It just happened that way. Yeah. Right. Even for like to think like one person that like picked it. Well, it's this to be like, dude. This is my favorite part of this thing. Is like, yeah, we make a thing to be able to watch the people in the dude, fucking theater. But it's people we would never meet. Yep. Like we, me and you, wouldn't just happen to drive through Chicago and stop and be at like a weird film fest. Like it'd be so rare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And our thing is playing. Like we're at it. We're in a community of people we've never met before, and they're gonna be watching like a super personal thing that we made, and we're gonna have some observation of what they think or some connection to them or mm-hmm. i don't know like no yeah. expectation but that's the coolest thing it's like yeah. a story brought us to chicago yes and helped us meet a new group of people yeah and that weird that's the man? power of it dude yeah like it's straight up like that's it shows like yeah that's the power of the fucking of a story yeah it's gonna be cool man it's yeah it's gonna be fun i'm excited yeah, for it i'm, I'm excited for it yeah I'm excited to see the other movies in the. Uh, in the yeah, dude! I can, oh my god! I can't wait to just. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. There's a feature too. I'm excited to see that. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's one feature in the block. Let's go. Yeah. That's always cool too. Something. It's always cool to see like what other people are yeah, doing bro. too. I'm psyched about yeah. it. I'm psyched about it. Yeah, man. But um, I was gonna say, what were you saying just now? You were just saying something before I cut you off about the festival. You um, said we're here to see oh. The fe- oh, and the and the the stats. We yeah, were, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we yeah. we got here in Chicago at what? It was like. <laughs> 11, uh, 10, 30, 10 11. 30, 11. Hey, first thing we did? Hey, <laughs> we're sitting there. We, Giordano's Pizza. We had to get some deep dish. Had to get some deep so dish. So we we call. <laughs> I placed an order ahead. While we were we didn't even get to the hotel yet. <laughs> we weren't even in Chicago. <laughs> that was the first thing we did. So uh, we get to the pizza place and we had to wait a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, then we brought it back straight to the hotel. Straight Checked to the in, room. Get to the room. Hey, man. Checked in pizza in hand. Yes. You don't come to Chicago without trying the pizza, oh. dude. Yeah, we had yeah. to do it. And what, did you, what are your thoughts? I was reading real? a lot of stuff, and people were like, Chicago's were like, you don't try to pizza. Wow, really? <laughs> They're like, it's not the greatest thing. Well, what I'm do, like, what, I'm do like, what does think? that even mean? What do you think about Like, what's your take? You're dude, from it's, Jersey. It's, you... Dude, I'm Jersey. I'm New York. I'm New York, all right? <laughs> don't say that. Are you New York? I'm sorry. <laughs> He's New yeah. York. I mean, dude, I love New York pizza. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be real. Me too, dude. dog. I can, I can get a dollar slice every day. Me too. I really could. And from anywhere, bro. Dude, oh. It's like so rare you run into a bad slice of pizza. Yeah. 
There's a lot of fucking places. Like everyone has – all New Yorkers, if you ask them like what's the best pizza, they're going to give you a different spot. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's yeah. so many good spots. I'll just take them. Like I'll walk down. You know, I used to get off uh, on Port Authority. You just go straight on I think 43rd. You walk up and yeah. there's just the 99 cent pizza. Yeah, yeah. And that's it, dude. How great is that? It's just a little, that? a little tiny shop. Isn't that something? And it's open all day. And, and it's you're like, everyone. And it's there. the best. It's fantastic. It's a slice the size of your head. Yeah. And it's. And how's so it ninety nine cents? And it's ninety nine cents. I don't even know what we paid for ours. I think we paid like, <laughs> dude. I, <laughs> we paid thirty bucks. Really? I'm pretty sure. Really? I'm pretty sure that was thirty dollars. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> really? I think so. Well, I mean, it's it's because it's like a whole the pie, thing, dude. It's it's different. It's a pie. It's like an, imagine an apple pie with the yeah. crust, and then like with pizza crust. Yeah, it's just I don't know, man. It's just thicker, and like all, it's layered ingredients. It's yes. like there's shit under yeah, the cheese. Yeah, it's not on top, dude. It's yeah, the stuff top. was under the cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the garlic. I mean, I, hey, man, I liked it. It was fantastic. It was, good. It was great, but it's like <clears> a, it's it's a whole it, it, like the simplicity of a of a New York slice to me. Yeah. Or Jersey slice is like perfect. You know what it is? It's like that, like a New York slice. You can get like there's no fancy kind of thing. Nothing. No. I think if you pit, you like put a, crushed red pepper on it. Like that's yeah. Your, if that's, you if you pit like a deep dish, like just a plain deep yeah, dish yeah. against like a New York plain. I, but it's the smell, bro. Now, oh, the smell. Dude, the test. smell. I mean, I ordered fresh tomato and fresh garlic, so maybe that might be the smell. Oh, bro, it smells so good. I'm saying if we go and just pick up a plain slice. From both. From both. From Giordano's and, 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 and a good spot in the city. Give me a good spot in the city. It's probably a Giordano's there, Like too. artichokes or like <laughs> yeah, something like yeah. that, you know? I think like uh, Vinny's or John. I don't know. There's a Ray's, Gino's. whatever one is the real one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, what is the one on Gr- – uh, oh, what's the famous one, dude? It's the Scorsese's neighborhood. Oh man! Talking about two bros? <laughs> no, 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 no! I forgot, man. Damn it! I forgot. Something Street, Green Street, yeah. or something. I don't know. But the thing is, like, I think I like the cheese in the deep dish. That mozzarella is Fuck. like legit, fantastic. It's like legit mozzarella. Uh huh. You know? Yeah. Like the cheese. You I get, noticed that too. Like a New York slice is kind of like just yeah. You're it's like, whatever. All right, it's like that cheese. It's like that cheese sliced cheese. It's like breakaway cheese. Yes, yes. It's not gonna but hold it's good, together. It's still, it's, I'm not saying it's bad. It's still great. It's but still but sometimes it's like falling off the yes, fucking thing. Yes. And you're burning yourself on your lip. So I don't know, dude. They both have their. I don't know. Yeah. I gotta stick with New York. Yeah. I have to. Yeah. I I, I have to. Too. A dollar. It's it's a dollar. It's piping hot, fresh. You, you're never like I fucked up because yeah. I got that ninety nine cent slice. You can never go wrong. No. If you're feeling bad. With this, I was like, this is fantastic, but this is like a you have to sit down and do the whole fuck around with it. You also, to, I like, don't know what to get in it. <laughs> there's there's a million ingredients. So many ingredients. I don't know. I can try a bunch of That's shit. That's why I wanted to do the, the OG, but the, this is the thing. They, they didn't What's tavern OG? style? Tavern style is supposed to is another what Chicago people say is like the better pizza. It's what they're more It's known like for. a New York pizza? It, or what is the deal? It's it's more of like um I think it's bigger. Uh, and it's way thinner. Okay. And so like it's not almost like you got a crispy crust. Okay. And the toppings and stuff. Okay. <clears throat> and it's cut into like squares, I think. We gotta find one of those. Yeah, we'll try that too. Yeah. I wanna would... try I mean <sighs> I just wanna eat cheese and, and sauce and, and bread while I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And a hot dog. What's the hot dog spot? The Portillos. Is that close? I think yeah. They have okay. a bunch of them. It's okay. a chain. Okay. Also Al's beef is supposed to be really good. Beef. It's like a... I think it's steak sandwiches or like something like that. Okay, like cheesesteaks. I think. I mean, something, something, something. I don't what know. What do we get? We got. We're in. We go to Philly all the time. Yeah. I mean, hey, I mean, we, we got, while we we're here, while we're here, we, we go, go to New York all the time. That's true. Yeah. We, while yeah. we're here, we got to try. I don't go to New York actually. When's the last time you went to New York? Yeah, I mean, two you days just ago. been. Two days yeah, ago. you just yeah. been. been. Shout out! Shout out! My little nephew Hugo <laughs> turned three. Yeah, I saw the picture, dude. It's adorable. It, my little my my acting class, like we had our first baby three years ago. I say we because it's like our baby. He's our little wolf cub. I love that. And this little three-year-old boy is running around Fort Greene Park. Dude. Yeah. I hadn't seen him in years because of like the pandemic and everything. Uh-huh. To see this little dude with like this mushroom cut, he's blonde, he's – and Ness, shout out, the best mom in the world. Um, She like – you know how some people you're like – that when they have a kid, they're just – you you can't believe how great a parent they are. Mm. Like I never would have saw it in my mind. Yeah. 
Because you knew her before it, right? I never thought about it. And then wow. and then I see her be a mom, and she like took to it like a fish to water, yep. dude. She's like the best mom ever. Yeah. And he's dressed up in this like beautiful clothing, and like <laughs> he looks like he's out of an ad, like a J Crew ad. Like yeah. he's so he's so happy. You think that's like innate in us? I was, dude. Okay, this is cool. I was talking to shout out Sam Molina, homegirl. Shout out Sam's mama. Um, we were having a great conversation at the park watching Hugo. Yeah. And she was saying, like, look at, look at, like, look at this kid. You know, he's already got this whole identity. Like mm. he's, he's already a, f- a human being who's got likes and dislikes and like instincts and 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 you know he's like an individual. And he smiles at things. He doesn't smile a lot. Like that's per- part of his personality. And um, she was like, isn't it amazing that like he's, he was like, that's who he is. He was just born with that. And I was like, that's interesting because that's the nature versus nurture thing. It's like, are, do we come out with these like chemical things that only we have that like, we're, we, I like a cold room and you're like, I don't. <laughs> I wasn't taught I like a cold room. I don't, I don't think. Yeah. But like, um, I don't know, dude. Like, it's it, it's cool to think about how much of it is nature and how much of it is like we were taught this or raised to like this or do this, you know? Yeah. I wonder. But watching him, it made me think like maybe it's more nature. Maybe he's born this way. But also he's surrounded by love. Like, oh, yeah. homie is, he gets to be who he is because his parents are sick. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But yeah. You think like, well, like parents... Like like you said, like you know, was just like she was just like a hundred percent already like when she had the kid, like already a mom, like crazy. I do. Like, do you think that just like is there? I don't know. It's weird, right? I don't know. Yeah, I, I think I, it has to be because you're, you're. It's kind of just like that's it. Like, I think she was always going to be a great mom. Like yeah. that was in her. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but I just didn't see it. Yeah, and it comes out that moment. And it came out the second she was like, "I'm having a baby." Yeah. It was, dude. So. Also, so I can't cool. imagine for, I mean, as dudes, like, I can't imagine for a mom that, like, you know, carries this thing around for, like, months. <laughs> you carry it. And then it comes out and you're like, whoa. Bro. Like, what's the, fe- like, we'll never feel that feeling. Never. You know what I mean? It's wild. Never. Dude, they say you can't, you can't, as men, like, <clears throat> or just as anybody, you can't know what it's like to be a parent until you're a parent. Yeah. Like, we so. will never understand it until, yeah. like, I have a dog. I fucking love that dog. Yeah. I fucking love Teddy, dude. Like, I cried the other day. <laughs> straight up. I'm not really? even kidding. Because he does this cute thing where he'll... We, we I say, you want to go for a walk? And he gets all excited. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I get his little chain out and his little harness. Yeah. And before I put the harness on, he runs back to his mom, to Lena. And he, and he like, starts kissing her. And, like, oh. and it's... And I, for, for the longest time, we're like, hey, bro, like, I'm trying to put the harness on you. Why are you running away? Yeah. And it's because we figured it out. He's saying goodbye. Yeah, man. He's saying goodbye to his, his oh mom. Oh, my God. Dude, so when we figured out, we were like, oh, that's the cutest thing. The other day, like th- four days ago, I get the harness out. He does the thing. He runs over to Lena. He starts kissing her, saying goodbye, right? And he goes to leave to come to me and so I can put the harness on. We can leave to go for a walk. And he's all psyched. And as he's going to leave her, he turns around. He looks at her. He goes, kisses her one time and then comes over to me. And I'm like, he, he just did it. He just did the cutest fucking goodbye oh to his mother. I'll be back. Love you. To his mom, dude. And I cried. We both looked at each other and just cried. Like, cried. So I love I love my doggy. Yeah. My little buddy. That's my son. Damn. But that can't even compare, they say, to. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, it can't get no better than this. <laughs> I can't get no better than this. He's he's, he's like this forever. He's a little little toddler forever, little yeah. furry toddler. I think you got to add talking. You know what I mean? And then I you're imagine like, imagine it's like you <clears throat> made this. Yeah. You didn't adopt you know this dog. It's like you made this human being, yeah. and he looks like you. Dude, my dad always says he's like, once people get like that with dogs, it's like that's just like the the substitute for a kid that's that's what lena said the other day she 100%. was like if we didn't have him we'd be going fucking crazy yeah like we gotta have a kid now we gotta have a kid now we yeah gotta, you know. i think so yeah bro but no we got him dude and he's he's the surrogate i guess he gets all the love yeah. the baby love right now but uh yeah man i don't know i think about that sometimes like i hope i hope i can function when i have a kid i hope i'm not just staring at the kid all day just like <laughs> i love you so much 
<laughs> yeah, you'd get lost, dude. Dude, just I, I can't get believe it. Lost. I, I'm afraid, man. Yeah, yeah. Because you're gonna, you're, you're. They always say like you're gonna hurt your kid. Like at some point you're gonna hurt your kid. You're, oh, you're, you're yeah. gonna, you know oh, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't help it. Yeah, that's because you're human. You're gonna say a yeah. thing that's stupid or you're not thinking yeah. or, and the kid's gonna be scarred forever. Yeah. Isn't that scary? Every fucking kid <laughs> is has their own like, um, you know, like messed up, you know, part of them. Yeah. And that's all from upbringing, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. <clears throat> I mean, a lot of it. You yeah. can say. I mean, you can do the best think, job you want. I really think you can't blame like a child for anything. No, you know, no. It's like not fully. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's always no, there's like, some responsibility. Yeah, to the, to the definitely parent. responsibility. To parent. I mean, growing up, a lot of the time, like a lot of kids that were fucking up, like would be scolded, like it's their fault. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's man. what you see. Yeah, that's you know true. I mean? That's true. Especially like not the greatest areas and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. Like what do you th- what do you expect? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's kind of fucked up. Yeah, like I if- took a wallet once when I was really? like seven. Yeah, I was in uh, I was in Key West with my yeah. uncle and my father and and my my cousins, and we were in a record shop. Oh wow! And my uncle left his wallet on the records, and he like walked away. Uh huh. I was like, why did he leave it? So I'm playing around with him, and I grabbed it, and I'm like, uncle, and I'm like, hey. And I pocket it. And I'm like, I'm going to bring it to him later and be like, look what I found. Oh, shit. Because he's going to get nervous about it. And yeah. I'm going to be the hero. I'm going to yeah, be like, oh, yeah, Dave, yeah. you did it. Yay. That was my seven-year-old thought. Oh, man. To get some love. Big surprise. You're scheming then? Big surprise, dude. I was scheming for love even back then. Oh. So, because uh, I had a hole in my heart somewhere. Uh, <laughs> the, something the, didn't click when I was yeah. uh, And I'm working on it at 31. <laughs> Damn, it's going there. Shout out Lisa from therapy. Thank you. I love you, Lisa. Um. So now I'm running around with this fucking wallet in my pocket, and I'm looking through it. I go into a side room with all these like other like rare records, and I'm uh-huh. like, looking through the thing. And I I remember, bro, so vividly. I walk over to my uncle eventually, and I'm like, "It's been five minutes. He must be looking for it." And I go, I I have it in my hand, and I'm going like this to touch my uncle on the back. And I just feel like this fucking, you know when like you're a kid and you get shook by a man? Yeah. You're like whole body fucking vibrate. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah. power, you know? This dude grabbed me so fucking hard and like spun me around and like lifted me up and was like, hey! Like screamed in my face. He's like, who's is this? And he was screaming at me. And it was the dude who worked there, the dude who owned the shop. Yeah. And I was like, I couldn't even speak. I was like crying before I could even yeah. speak, you know? Like I was like shuddering. <clears throat> and... uh Long story short, like my dad like freaked out and like blew up on the guy, and I I tried to explain to them like through <laughs> fucking sobs afterward, like I was trying to give it back, I was trying to give it back, you know, but like yeah, why does a dude pick you up? Like what, dude? He fucking I think he was trying to teach me a lesson or something, you know, like you can't steal your job, dude. I he, hate when he, I don't know other dudes step in. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I should have been all teaching the that, kid. but. I was seven, dog. Like, yeah. you know, and I was trying to get yeah. some love, and that was the whole. And hey, you could deal with that a different way. I mean, yeah, like, hey, kid, don't do that. That's not nice. Yeah, is that nice? Or ask, is this yours? Yeah, is that yours? Whose is it? <clears throat> I mean, I would tell the truth. Yeah, but um, yeah, dude, mm. it wasn't my fault having kids. I mean, it was my fault, but it wasn't my fault. Davey's having a kid. No. <laughs> <laughs> dude breaking news dave is not having a kid <laughs> that, that is not happening not right now um so when it does it'd be exciting not yet all right next year yeah um, <laughs> so mikey's so, having so we, a kid no, no 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 if anything i'll be a step no bro are you just in case do you have stop Cause you're in a new city right now. Uh huh. I don't know how the night's gonna go for you. I mean, all I'm saying is leave the door open. What's the signal? <laughs> What's the signal? You know that new song? We should come you up with this. Leave the door open. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the door. <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> wait. Keep singing that song. You can leave the. You can leave the door open. <laughs> I'm a little too old. <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> oh, man. What is the signal? What is the signal tonight for us? That's like, Dave, it's going really well. I mean, we got a day planned. 
We have a. This is going to be our. We got day. a day plan. We got the festival. You know, at seven o'clock. Right? Yeah, it's later. We'll see what happens. Yeah, but just in case. So me and you are on the same page. Like, what? Yeah, are you going to wink? Mean, are you going to? What's it? What's the thing? Pull I mean, your well, ear. What am I? <laughs> I mean, you'll see what's happening. I'll you'll see you talking, there, right? but I won't know if it's like, oh, we're going back to the hotel room. Can I have the key? Kind of thing. I'd give you like a text. A t- okay. Yeah. That's I guess better. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Or should I go like? Don't do that. <laughs> like a horse call like i can't do that dude, horse call gonna happen trust me <clears throat> trust me dude i mean who knows dude i got this morning <laughs> you were hit on from moment one dude it is i woke up took a shower and it was over careful <laughs> i don't want to tell the story no no no, no. you gotta tell, tell it you gotta tell it but basically like someone was hitting on mikey no dude there's no <laughs> so just let me say it. it's i'm not gonna get into detail i'm just saying like someone someone was hitting on mikey and yeah uh, true so yeah all the ladies you gotta hurry up <laughs> mikey's here for a limited time have you been bumbling hinging <clears throat> while we're here i've been uh you know i've been swiping swiping you know what's the deal Couple matches you know really sending some messages really yeah making s- dog are you playing or are you there's, serious? There's one match. And Bro. <laughs> why? I love, why? I love I'm you. So, dude, I'm sitting, I I'm sleeping right you. next to you, bro. I'm I'm literally in the same room. I've been with you nonstop. What is going on? I woke up and it was match. Dude. Dog, you didn't say anything. Because dude, I'm... we've had how many podcasts where I've said <laughs> fucking tell me if something's oh, good. Oh, dude. And you're like, just quiet. But like I, I'd rather give you good news. You don't know how how crazy this. I'd makes rather give me, you bro. good news. I'd rather give you good news than like something's gonna happen. You don't know how crazy this makes me. This makes me fucking crazy. <laughs> you need a little crazy in your life. Come on. You're like a you. You might as well be fucking like James Bond, dude. <laughs> you you may have a you what may be you a mean? fucking Russian spy. I'd have no idea. <laughs> one day one day you come over my fucking apartment. Yeah. It's just like you knock on the just door. Just gone. Randomly. <laughs> you're just gone there's someone else yeah <laughs> i go to your dad he's like you it's and not they have, even my, they have son. my same name <laughs> yeah your dad's gone <laughs> you your see mom's... my dad you're like hey mr Novicki. He's, he's like what it's like that's not my name hello yeah <laughs> am i crazy am i fucking nuts <laughs> put down below if i or, or fucking messages am i nuts it's a blur is dude. this guy wrong or right we've been together 24 we went took a 12 hour fucking drive together <laughs> sleeping <laughs> five feet from each other and he doesn't tell me he has a match on 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 Bumble and Hinge, or am oh. I nuts? Am I the crazy one? But the thing is, like, my thing is, I'm so like desensitized to it at this point, where I don't even care if I have a match. But I care. I know you do. That's where you're. That's this is where you're. You're. I don't know <laughs> how your mind works. <laughs> I don't. I don't get it. But like, I care, and you know I care, and that's the thing, dude. You know I care. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I don't know. I think I forget sometimes. Because I'm like, I'm so excited when it's like a match. But like, I'd rather like enjoy a little life instead. You well, know? it's. I mean, we're gonna. Yeah. But this is a part of life. Yeah. But it's like I'm here for one day. It's what am I gonna do? <laughs> what? <laughs> what, dude? Dude, I don't know. Dude, I'm here with my boy. We just drove 13 hours. I don't know, bro. I'm just trying to enjoy. You if it happens, you. it happens. Hey, you do you. If it happens, it happens. This is how dude. I'm going to be from now on. Whoa. Because the second I start caring, it's like you for, you forget. No. And then you're just like. No, dude. Surprise on a podcast in the middle I'll, of it. If, I have a if match. If something's like for sure, wouldn't you rather know for sure? Well, what's the message has been like so far? Dude, it's like it's literally a match and I message and there's nothing. That's what, what? It, that's what all the things are. Wait, so the so the girl has to say, "Oh, I like this." I'm ah, uh, see, <laughs> see. No, no, nothing, nothing. You're a liar. I mean, I'm getting likes. See, <laughs> no, it. Trust me, dude. I think you don't understand as much like what it is. I know. I think you don't understand like the dude. You don't understand the emotion, the emotional aspect of this. <laughs> Like I of doing it, I don't. That's why I'm. That's why I'm telling you. Trust me, it's not even like anything. But so a match is nothing. No, at this point, no. It really a match isn't. doesn't matter. Trust me, it really isn't. So how does a match? Trust me, dude. It really. Hey, isn't. hey. So how does a match happen? Someone swipes their. You know, what? people just keep swiping and they make a mistake. 
So it's a so it could it be could a mistake. Be, I don't know. Should I should I dwell on it? You know, if I send the message. No, don't and, dwell. I don't know? say dwell. I know, but I'm saying like so if I'm swiping, I'm getting mad and like <laughs> like dude, if you were doing this, it'd be yeah. so bad. <laughs> Why? Because every single one you'd you'd have to get like a response or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wait, wait, why? I don't know, because I feel like you, you like I mean I feel that way too. I'm like I like <laughs> I, I, I there's a match. In so the beginning like, in the beginning dude, I'm like, dude, there's a match. I'm like, oh my god, there's a chance. There's a chance. And then like you do something. So now you're doing it, you're like, there's no happens. chance. Like I'm just doing no, it. No, no, no. I I'm saying that I, I get that it's a very like in the moment kind of if it happens, then it does. Yeah. But a lot of time, you know, some of the people don't really feel it. Okay. And I think that's the norm. Yeah, I think I think I think something's wrong. <laughs> what do you think's wrong? I think there's like you like what'd you message? This match here. Yeah. What's <laughs> and uh, keep it real. Keep it keep it so real. Here. So there you go. Bro. There's there's the match. Okay. Okay. I don't know how you spell that name like that, but see, this is what I'm. Uh, this is what I'm like. Uh, four miles. She's in a farm. Four miles is in the city, dude. No, she might be in Gary. Yeah. Some. Yeah. <laughs> dude, when we get to the hotel, we sit in bed, we relax, we turn on the TV, we turn on the TV, and all you see is twenty shot. <laughs> Uh, two miles dude, away, dude. It's not even funny. Uh, Forty shot over the weekend. It's I'm horrible. Like, well, <laughs> how do I see messages on here? How do you click the, the the bottom left back? Bottom left back. I just put it out there. I said, "Hey." Oh, you can put a song up here. I guess so. Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't want a flag, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa! And oh na, my, na, my bad. Na, na. That doesn't sound good. That's. <laughs> I just said, "Hey." Um, she said something about. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a good song. Okay. Okay, okay. Dude, so, okay, I like this. Okay. You know what I mean? Are you trying? Are you trying yeah, I like this. Because you're throwing an invite yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. You know? And I'm like, all right. But then like, I'm thinking like, hey, I want to go. I want to go see Chicago. Yeah, which we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe something after the festival. Something that's might what, happen. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. And that's what I'm trying to do. That's Well, okay, I understand now. <laughs> We'll see at the festival, dude. But now, how hard is it for you to tell me that? <laughs> All right. So I, have, I get that. I have right, you know what? Someone. I get it. I'm sorry. I'll I'll try to get better at that. For real. Okay. Okay. I'll try. I respect that. I appreciate that. I want to I want to have you in on it. All right. I want to be in on it. All right. I I, pre I appreciate that. Have you ever I'll had someone better. like in your corner, like like cheering you on for like relationships and stuff, or has that not been a part of your like? Not really. No. That's who I am. A lot through and through. Yeah. I gotta help you out. A Not lot. help you out, but like be a part of it. I want to be yeah. part of it. I, I kind of like doing bleachers. that too. I like doing that too. Yeah, I like being a wingman. Yeah, like, like that's fun. That's I get. I get like we. I feel like I bond even better when I get to do yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. That's all. All right. Okay. And if if you don't like that, you can say it, and yeah. then I just gotta. No, I gotta I think, take a I step I back. Do. I gotta take a step back. <clears throat> I don't know if I like it actually. I gotta. I gotta figure that out. <laughs> okay. I gotta. I think I like a that's good. Fair. I like a good mix. Because a lot of the time in the past, there's been a lot of times where it's like, where like I'm out with a bunch of friends yeah, or yeah. I'm out with people, even dudes that have like relationships. Yeah. And they like are going in. I'm yeah. like, hey, dude, like mm -hmm. what's going on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a couple instances. Where like you're, dude, I'm like, I get, I pick up the girl at the bar. I invite him out the next day and I'm yeah. like, all right. And I'm with my boy and like having a, and then like, let's say you go to a restaurant with like your friends and then like, yeah. she's there and yeah. like you talk, you're having a good time. And then, like, when you're about to sit down, there's a booth, right? Mm -hmm. Don't and say your boy sits next to you. No, my boy sits next to her. Yeah, what's that? I don't know what that is. I wanted to talk to you about that. That's crazy. I don't know what you're doing on the that podcast. Crazy? But I mean, like, we could do whatever. I won't, I won't get in this. Like, imagine I'm about to sit down. I'm like, and then someone gets in front of you and says, I'm like. That's just, that's bad form. I'm like, hey, dude. That's bad form. Hey, dude. That's not good friend. Yeah, and what am I going to do? I'm going to be like, hey, bro, no. I will never do that to you. I know. I know you won't. I didn't expect it. I usually I don't expect it from people I know. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. If it happens, then I'm like, okay. It's just gross. It's weird. It's like, it's like, hey. It's weird, bro. If you're talking to my homie for, you know, like a month. It's weird. And then like my boy like goes to meet you. Yeah. And then like. That's weird. You talk to someone. So like, I think, I, I think I'm just used to, you know, 
different things. So maybe yeah. that's why yeah. I'm sorry if it affects you in a way. No, maybe no, that's no. why I'm not as open. I, with I, I I get it. I'm glad we're talking about it because I I can I can empathize with that. I yeah. I understand that, yeah. but I won't do that. <clears throat> no, I I know that too. I think I know that, but I think your boys that's, your boys. I know. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I, I had people in relationships like. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Really? Yeah. Still. See. Which I'm like, all right, dude. You got bad friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna call it like this. I just. You have bad friends. You have bad friends. You have bad friends. I don't know. Probably. No, I'm just playing. I'm messing with you. We know. I don't know your friends like that. Me either. But I don't at like this point. No. I don't, I don't like know. that thing. I'm gonna yeah. keep. I'm gonna keep it real. Yeah, that's valid, right? Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> if you're if you're listening right now, don't do that. To don't my, do to, that especially shit. to Mikey, don't do that because he wouldn't do that to you. Yeah. So so stop. You wouldn't do, do you, that. Do you have wingman stories that you can tell that I that I was wingman for? Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Oh my god. I will go lengths for a friend. I'll tell you one right now. Yeah. Oh man, this one's crazy. We were. I was eighteen. Uh huh. In Me- oh man, this is crazy. No 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 no. I won't tell that one. I won't tell that one. Yeah. Uh, 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 it's a kind of a weird thing to tell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, not the best thing to tell, maybe. No, but I, I, I've always been that. I, that's like more fun to me. Even yeah. when I was like, that's like the most fun I could have. Oh, in a relationship, dude, I will. I'll be the idiot for you, dude. Dude, that's I, I love. Whatever. I love it. I love it so much. I take all the. You could talk shit about me all day. Yeah. I, all I do is raise you up. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my thing, bro. Yeah, I like doing that too. I want to see you succeed. Yeah. You know. It's 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 not it's not it's like I get something from that. Yeah. It's yeah. The, like, like you said, it's a deeper bond. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Um Yeah, bro. I I've I've tried to be good wingman both ways. Like you shouldn't do this. Yes, exactly. And also like hyping sure. you up and For sure. you know talking. We're just up. good friends, dude. This is the this name of the podcast now. Good We're friends. Good friends. Good friends. <laughs> you are here podcast is changing. How far are we, dude? Good friends. What are we at? Forty-three minutes. Forty. We got. We got another like <clears throat> ten. We're trying 15. to do a quick one. Cause yeah, yeah. We're, we're in we Chicago first time. We want to go see the city. What? How you hide a body? <laughs> this is the thing you asked on. <laughs> I mean, we keep were, it real. We were doing it on the road. We were we talking were doing about it on, it on the live, road. and every person we asked, they just were like, "Uh." This, I think I heard. A, I heard a TikTok or something about it. That's why I was like, "Really?" I got it. Yeah, yeah. I'm fully addicted to TikTok now. It's a. It's a problem. <laughs> I'm fully addicted to TikTok. <laughs> uh. Dude, you can destroy your brain there. Dude, it's it's. Like, I feel like every time you do like one of those hour long just oh yeah scroll throughs your whole day you lose like a day shot in between shit's the worst like do the dishes you get back <clears throat> from the gym you fucking whatever before and, you shower and now every single platform has its own version yeah you that's what I'm dude YouTube I went on YouTube it. they have shorts now and I I was like what is this I click on one. And like I sat there for an hour. Yeah, I'm like, what am I doing? Yeah, why am I looking at this? Do you have Do you have a true crime thing? Do you Do you mess around with true crime? I had like a little um, interest in it. I don't really. I usually don't like crime stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I think my favorite like show would have to be like Mindhunter. Oh, what Dude, a good show, man! So fucking good. Damn, that I was heard on uh, True Detective though. Did you not watch? I didn't that? watch that. I gotta watch that, bro. I heard it's crazy. You heard it's first, crazy. Just, just, just the first season. Just watch the first season. Yeah, that's all you gotta watch. I'll watch it. It's so good, dude. I usually don't like crime stuff. Oh man, it's so good, dude. I met the I met the bad dude. In, I'm gonna give it away, but he's he's like the main antagonist in the in the story. Oh, you met him? I met him at a cafe oh, at a Starbucks where I was going to class. Oh back, yeah, back in the day with, with Sam and with everybody yeah. in this. Um, and I said, oh my god, that's 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 this dude. It's Reggie Ledoux, you know, or it's it's this whatever. Um, and I walk over to him. I'm like, "Hey, man," because he's fucking. I mean, everyone in it's great. Yeah, McConaughey's like, "Oh yeah." I never. You can't even. I can't even describe his characterization yeah. and and how deep <laughs> yeah. he went. And I can't describe it. Woody Harrelson, but this dude, who I never saw before, yeah, was unbelievable. Dude. And the. the the cinematography, the mm. editing, mm. it just like, it, it gets in your skin, that show. The yeah. first season, you're on the ride, bro. Like, mm. I swear you'll be f- swept up in it. If you give it a chance, you got to give it a chance. I got to. Watch I'll it. Do it yeah. Watch it. I watched the It's a Wonderful Life, dude. What'd you think? Holy shit, man. So give me your, give me your, give me your thoughts. <sighs> Did you, was, was it emotional at all to you? 
Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. I I always like her. I always like would hear about it, and yeah. everyone always like. I always saw it's like a Christmas movie, but like, dude, it's really not a Christmas movie. Like, it's really not. <laughs> it's really dude. a dude, lot more than is. that. I was so surprised. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like, this was after like I've been. That's like, Jimmy Stewart. Yeah. That's oh my god. Jimmy Stewart. Yeah. Like this is just so like this is the thing like I'm realizing man Frank I'm so Capra. drawn to just like like a real like like part about a person and like oh, yeah. being like personifying that in like a film man oh my god like that shit is just that film is so real and watching like the life of like this guy just like breaking down mm-hmm. and losing himself mm-hmm. and it's just fuck man and it reminded me of um beyond the horizon mm-hmm. with like losing that like you know not being able to follow like the dream and everything oh yeah exactly oh my god dude think about this i'm gonna blow your fucking mind yeah because there's so many film essays on it yeah on that movie and the one there's really one good one by nerd writer nerd writer one on youtube uh-huh. um but he points out in in certain shots i mean this is how genius frank capra was yeah dude there's a shot where because the whole thing is about a guy, yeah, a boy who grows up and is is so excited to leave, yeah, to see the world. Yep, he can't wait, dude. Yep, that's his like goal in life. That's mm-hmm. his spine, like adventure. The National Geographic thing he's reading at the mm-hmm. soda sh- counter with with the girl. Like he can't wait to get out, and um, he's stuck because yep. his father passes, and he's he's left with the building and loan, and he's he's got to take care of his family and. He falls in love, but and then he has children. It's like you have to stay, so he's stuck. He feels stuck, and uh, the the there's certain shots. There's one where he's you know the the buildings that the the housings that they're that they're building, and it's all like decrepit and it's not really built yet. Yeah. Um, and his buddy from the plastics company comes, yep. and he's rich now. Yeah. And he could have invested in that company, but he didn't. Yeah. And now, so he's he's watching his buddy who made all this money on the plastics company, yeah. ride off into the sunset basically with his lady in a beautiful car, and he turn after smiling and waving like goodbye, he turns around with his wife, back to their beater and kicks the door, and you're like, dude, he he's outside of a train when the train's leaving in this one shot. It's one take. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember it, but he's standing next to the train and he's waving goodbye. Yeah, I think to his brother. Yeah, yeah, and. He's smiling and waving, and he's alone for a second. And you see on his face, like, he'll never get on that train. Like, I will never get on that train and leave this town. And he's, like, full of remorse and full of, like, pain Mm -hmm. and doubt. And then he turns and he walks back into the crowd of people and he starts putting on the smile again. Yep. Because he has to put this facade on. Yeah, the image. Shots like that, dude. And the film can be summed up in three shots. (laughs) If you just think about... The railing in his house. Oh. The first time he goes to the railing, he notices, boom, the thing pops off. Yep. His house is full. Like, it was a, it was yep, a beater yep, that yep. he built back in the, in, the, in the railing. The thing pops off. And he's like, oh, shit. And his behavior is second time. Yeah. He's running upstairs. Boom. Grabs it off. And he's yep. like, and he's ready to fucking kill it. Yep. He puts it back. And then after everything happens, the third shot. He's he's home after seeing what life is like not to be alive mm. if he didn't exist, <laughs> and he comes back and he grabs the ring to run it, up yeah. to his his daughter upstairs, and it pops off, and he kisses it, yeah, and he's grateful. Like that that yeah. I mean, duh, that says everything about the movie in three yeah. shots. In three shots yeah. about a stupid nothing. Yep, the way he reacted to it three different times, mm-hmm. you get the whole movie. It's genius, man. It's a perfect movie. Yeah. That's the that's a perfect <clears throat> movie. That is a per to me, that is a perfect, perfect movie. Yeah, it's up there, dude. It's fucking up there. It's got everything. Yeah. It's funny. The only, it's the, the only it's, part that like made me feel like kind of like, oh, like I wish there was a different way. Oh, what'd you is, think? Is if he of like going back to like see the world if you weren't there. But mm-hmm. I guess it's like it it fits the movie though. Would you what'd you think about it? I don't know. I just, I just, I don't think there is a different way to like show that. But I wish there there's was. many different ways you can show it anyway. You, you think in your mind, like, yeah. Would you show like that? Would the town be destroyed if Potter like had control of everything? Like, how would it be? No, I just wish like the actual like, like being able to. I think that's the only way you can really do it. Mm-hmm. It just like, 
I don't know. Maybe I don't. I don't hate it. No, you don't. Have to. I mean, if you don't like it, you don't. No, like no, it. I I like it. I just wish there was a different way to show it. Yeah. You know, because it's like, oh, like you get transported back. It's almost like not real. You know what I mean? Right. Like realistic in a way. But the yeah. whole movie has kind of like a whimsical kind of definitely. Magic I mean, there's it. the the spirituality yeah. of it too. Of yeah. The angel, you know, yeah. falling yeah. from the sky to help him. It's fucking. I don't know, man. It was it was beautiful. It's definitely like top for me i mean by the end of it's it it's gotta be up there. by the end of it you're seeing his his brother yeah. came back and, and and the whole town's paying for the building yeah, yeah. the community shit like uh, oh they're 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 appreciative of him and he's it's like everything scene. like we feel like we're losing dude now. you dude. know what i mean because he because the protagonist george bailey does everything he fucking can yep for, for the people, people for everyone for everyone <clears throat> sacrifice himself there. for everyone with like the pills dude i was like what the hell yeah bro and he saved him from killing himself. Yeah. Dude, it's it, by the end he reaped what he sowed basically with all the all the help that he was giving thinking that yeah. nobody cared and no one yeah. was there for him. And it's like the whole town's here Comes for you. Comes back. Yeah. yeah, man. And the the scene with the in when the bank gets uh oh. you know, they take all the money or they lose all the money. When his uncle drops the $8,000 yeah. which is like oh. equivalent to like Five million dollars right and now. All like the people are actually like trying to get the money and everything. Yeah, they're coming back for their see, money like to the pull the money out. You know that you helped. Like, yeah, coming they're back. coming back to get their fucking money. Yeah, before you can't. It you just can't. you know what the movie hits like every single thing. Yeah, every single aspect. It's romantic. Yeah, everything. Bro, you know they said they had no chem. Like in his, I went like I read over his his autobiography, and he claimed like he didn't have chemistry with her. Really? I mean, if you watch, <laughs> yeah. When it like when they're on the like going over the phone with each other, talking. I mean, if there's no chemistry there, yeah, they're the best actors of all time. Yeah, they're the best actors of all time because <laughs> you could feel it. Yeah, yeah. You always felt like throughout the whole thing, dude. There's the gotta be, movie. bro. Speaking from experience, if it's not there, you have to you have to craft something. Yeah, to like love this individual. Yep. Otherwise, like, it's not going to work. Yeah. You can smell it. It's like phony. But with them, it's like. Yeah. It's like seeping out of them. Oh, man. The They're like time. dying to be on top of you. Like, just to, just to love each other. Just to be together. It's, 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 it speaks on, like, youth. And then how hard life gets, like, when you get older. Mm. When, like, bills come into it in the house and kids <clears> and <throat> illnesses and work, career stuff. Then you're, you have pressure on you, like. It's easy to get swamped in life, like to be feel like bogged down by it. Yeah, because shit piles up, man. Oh yeah, and you could feel like, why me? Why me? Mm. Nothing changed about George Bailey's situation. The before the angel came down and like gave, so, showed him what his life was like without him yep. there, and after, yep. except his perspective. That's the exactly. only thing that changed. Yeah, he still had all that debt. He still had. Uh, uh, same family, daughter still sick. There's still house falling apart. Uh, st- you know, job on top of him, like having to mm. carry the whole town, basically the building alone, and it's, it's about to collapse. And nothing changed but his perspective. What would life be like if I wasn't here? Yep, it's crazy. It's a wonder. And what's the title of the film? It's a wonderful life. I mean, come on, <laughs> come on, dude. It's, nice. it's a, it's a fucking, it's a, it's a kiss on the lips of life dude that's what yes. it is it's it's like a thank you it is a wonderful life isn't yeah. it it's a reminder yeah that's why it's a good film and it's the perfect title and 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 you can't you can't do anything about it. yeah tell us a better one you can't do anything about it and i and i i, I i'll definitely debate you if you ha- if you yeah. have a better film come bring it <laughs> come bring it and we'll talk but i don't see it that's number one and that's the You Are Here podcast. And that's the You Are Here podcast. That's the You Are Here podcast, man. Episode 131 of the podcast. Come on. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, the video. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, do, a, do it right, nah. dude. Spotify, YouTube with the video, anchor.fm, youareherepodcast.co. We cannot afford, afford the M. M-, M- Go M- like M- and subscribe M- to whatever platform you're listening to right now, specifically YouTube. If you can, we love you for that. Thank you M- for all the support we've gotten so far. We see it all. Uh, we're growing steadily. Mm. with y'all mm. with the family oh, yeah. the tribe's growing we're, we're handing out t-shirts Woo. We're, we're cooking chicken Woo. and rice we're giving foot massages yeah we're building huts shy city we're in the shy yeah we'll let you know how the Watch festival out. goes next week yes on the next That's pod be a fun little i'm excited man up. hey you are your podcast this is mike i'm signing up hey this
Dave, I love y'all. Please be kind to one another. And message Mikey back on Bumble. Peace. <laughs>